Hey Jackson, hope everything's going well. Just what has this bit last week been like for you? And uh, what's the coolest message you've got on your phone from say someone you, you didn't know? Uh, it, it, this, this week being crazy. And then, uh, the coolest, uh, message is probably from, uh, Jimmy, uh, the funny Asian dude. And then he just post about me and then say like, so it's inspirational, like things like, oh, that was so cool. I never, I never know him. And then everybody else tell me he's really funny. And then I look it up. He, he is. <laughs> Michelle. Hey, Jackson. Tell me about what it was like when you scored that touchdown to see the joy on your teammates' faces. I think they were happier than when they scored, but what was that like to just see the joy from them? Uh, it's just crazy to you know, know that, that like, uh, like, it's not crazy though, but like, they, like, I don't know what to say, like just family, we're a big family, we love each other. It's just uh, happy to see, uh, people to succeed. <laughs> Jesse. Hey, Jackson. Uh, I just wanted to ask you, you know, how did you first find out about football and start playing football? Uh, so uh, I was walking around on campus in high school and then a uh, teammate's parent came to me. And he said, like, uh, you're big uh, and then you should play lap tackle. And then I was like, I want to I want to try new things because I came into like a new environment. So I was I was just like, OK, I'm going to try it. And it's just how it started. And to follow up, was was that once you came to the United States? Yeah. Uh, Garrett. Hey, Jackson, hope everything's doing well. What was uh, did you come up with the the slogan on on the T-shirt? The Chinese can ball too. Was that your Chinese idea? Chinese can ball too. Yeah. <laughs> was that your idea? Uh, yeah. No, I mean actually this shirt uh, is uh, Coach uh, Antonio Pierce. He came up with that, like making this shirt. And then yeah, this is so cool though. <laughs> uh, Nick. Hey Jackson, uh, I'm Nick. I, I work at a news station in San Diego. And just can you talk about playing at San Diego? I know you went uh, to a smaller school. There's a lot of big schools around here. Right. Can you just talk about what it was like playing in San Diego? Uh, it was definitely pretty cool. Like, you know, first of all, San Diego is a beautiful place. And then it just, um, at that time, I would just feel blessed to be able to actually play on a football team, you know, high school level football team. And it was just blessing to play. Yeah, and just to follow up to that, I know you ended up actually playing a second year. Uh, what, did San Diego have any influence on that? Or did you just want more football experience before you went off to your next adventure? Uh, San Diego, this place actually, you know, it's a good place. And then that actually plays a, uh, you know, uh, important role in my decision to stay another year, you know, but I really want to get more football experience on, uh, you know, uh, more football experience before I go to the next level. Cool, thank you. Michelle. Uh, Jackson, did you play any other sports growing up? And also the second question is, what are the favorite American things as far as food or do you like from, from this country? Uh, so the first question, wait, what? <laughs> the first question was, did you play any sports growing up? Okay, I'm um, I grown up, like, I didn't play that much sports, but, you know, I played a little bit of ping pong, and then I started playing, like, basketball, like, 15, 14, something like that. And the, my favorite thing about America, food-wise, is probably, like, um, I don't know, like, Chipotle? <laughs> <laughs> I really like Chipotle. Uh, Jesse. Hey, Jackson. Uh, just also, just also wanted to ask you. So, your your first, you're a redshirt junior. So, your first two years at ASU, um, just like what were you doing? You know, I, you obviously weren't on the team yet. So, yeah, just just what were you doing those first two years? Uh, I actually got here last year. <laughs> And then this is actually this is actually my second year here. Okay. Uh, Michelle. 
Uh, so, you know, you, as a walk-on, and there's some great running backs ahead of you, what is it like going out to practice every day when you really don't know whether or not you're going to play in a game and you can work very, very hard, as I'm sure you do, and you never know when your number's going to be called? Well, I mean, this is, uh, I think this is what life is, you know, you know, like there are going to be a lot of like people that are really good at this position, but, you know, I think you just have to be prepared for everything that's coming to you. So when your chances come, you can just, you know, take over. <laughs> yeah. Hi, uh, I just want to ask, do you have any advice for your transfer player who, want, who may want to play in the FBS like you? You can say in Chinese, I'm from China Daily. Uh, say it again, please. Do you have any advice for your Chinese peers who, want, who may want to play uh, in the FBS like you? Uh, well, I mean, uh, just keep working hard, you know, like nothing is promised, but you just got to work for it, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I think sports is the only thing that um, you can get whatever you put in, you know, like hard work pays off, that's true. So just uh, keep on your dream and keep fighting, keep grinding. Nick? Yeah, just one, just one more question about your time here. So you went to a smaller high school. Uh, it's actually not even the same name anymore. It, it changed names. Yeah. <laughs> what it was like, uh, you know, just being able to develop in a smaller program because you had to learn the game completely there. What was that like for you? Uh, well, I mean, the first season was really miserable because I don't know nothing about football, but, you know, uh, my teammates and my coaches back there, they are really supportive and then they were really patient. So they teach me a lot of detail, like teach me a lot of rules and then, uh, help me watch films and stuff. I, uh, yeah. And I really appreciate it to, you know, help me out. <laughs> cool. Uh, Jesse. So, uh, sorry. Um, so just going back to what I, what I was asking you just a few minutes ago. Um, so what, so where were you your first two years of, of college or, or did you go high school and then straight to ASU just to, just to clarify? Uh, so after high school, I went to university of Jamestown in North Dakota for two years. And, and did you play football there or just? Yeah, were you... I did. I did. Uh, I registered there the first year and then I played the second year. Okay, and then and then what what led you to transfer to ASU? Uh, I think it just like the weather, it was too cold, and then uh, I want to challenge myself even more. Michelle, so I want to know now that you have kind of gotten immersed in this sport, do you watch other college football games, or do you watch NFL football games, and and what is that like, and, and does it help you learn the sport? Uh, of course, like uh, we always watch a lot of films and stuff, and then it's just it's just good to learn from other great players, you know, and then NFL guys, NCAA stuff. Yeah, it's just it's just really cool to learn, you know. Do, do you have a favorite NFL team? Have, do you have a pro team that you've kind of started following? Uh, well, I don't really have a really like team that I like, but uh, I I do have some favorite player like Marshawn Lynch. And then, yeah, like his running style, I really like it. And then, yeah, he's a fun guy. Yeah. Hi. Uh, have you been talked to your parents after the game? And, and if yes, what they say to you? Uh, I, yeah, I've been, I talk to my parents like every day. And then uh, I told them right after the game, I said, I, I, I scored a touchdown, dad and mom. And they were so happy for me. But like at the same time, they told me like to really focus on the next, you know, like be focused on uh, what's really important to you. Don't just get, you know, you got to be humble. <laughs> yeah. Jesse. So uh, just going back to more of your journey again, um, just what brought you originally to the United States um, when you were, uh, I believe it was 17, correct? Yeah. Uh, so my parents think uh, I can get a like better education here. And then they think there's more uh, opportunities here and wish they're right. <laughs> uh, Michelle. 
So tell me about, uh, as far as the players on this team, uh, which players on this team are you particularly close to? And tell me about what they've taught you and what you've taught them as far as Chinese customs and culture things. Uh, closest friend, I gotta say, uh, Rashad White. We actually just get a haircut together. And then um, the culture thing, you know, they always ask me like how to say uh, hello, you know, say thank you and stuff. And I think it, it takes some time <laughs> because Chinese is pretty hard, I guess. <laughs> Can I ask one more question? Uh, how did you learn English? And obviously, when you came here, you probably didn't speak a lot of English. How did you learn English? And, and obviously, you speak it very well. You've seemed to have learned it very fast. Uh, I think I'm just open. I am uh, like very open to everything and then new things too. And then, um, you know, I watch a lot of American shows to help me with my listening, like Big Bang Theory. And then, uh, uh, I mean, I try not to be shy to talk to people in English, and that's how I improve my English, I guess. Now, I, I read somewhere that your parents weren't necessarily thrilled about you playing football right away, and in fact, you never told them you started playing. So tell me about their thoughts now that you're, they're do, you're doing it and they're, they, they're seeing you do very well. Um, they are just supportive. Like, um, after I said, I told them I've started playing and then they just very supportive ever since then. And it's just like, they're like, uh, when I am down and they are, they are there to support me. And when I am up and then they're just there uh, to, you know, just happy with me. And then, but at the same time, tell me to, you know, stay humble. Jesse. Um, so when did you first uh, get introduced to Michael Jackson? Oh, uh, I think uh, uh, that's when he when he died. <laughs> when he died and then, you know, every, he made the news. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but like, that's how I know him at first. And then I started listening to his music. I was like, oh my God, it's so cool. And then his dance move and then his song is just lovely. <laughs> I love it. And then, do you have a favorite Michael Jackson song? Beat it! Beat it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and, then, and then one more question. Um, just uh, what, if you don't mind saying it, what is your like full name um, in in uh, in Chinese or Mandarin or? Uh, my Chinese name is He Peizhang. It's actually right here. Yeah. <laughs> Can you guys see? Yes. Uh, can you tell us the t-shirt that Coach Pierce was wearing? Did you give that to him or how did that come about? He actually came out with this idea. Um, you know, uh, I think it was yesterday or two days ago. And then uh, I was practicing and then I saw him wearing a shirt like this. I was like, hold on, what he says is right there. And I was like, oh my God, it says Chinese can ball too. <laughs> so so he uh, actually got it and had it made up and you didn't know that he was gonna do that. Yeah, I didn't know that. Can you tell us what it was like when you were presented with your the jersey with your name on the back? I heard that it was kind of an emotional moment for you when they gave that to you. Yeah, uh, cause I never thought this is gonna happen. It's just a surprise, you know. It, it's really like honor to actually have my name, like my actual name on the back of my jersey. And that means a lot. I really appreciate the equipment room to do that for me. Oh, they're the ones that did it then? It was, yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. What has this been like for you? Obviously you've talked to, I've heard you've had tons of interviews like today and people around the country. And has it hit you yet? what you've done and how it's resonated with people throughout the country or in, in, in other countries too. Uh, what, what does resonate to me? <laughs> how it's, how people have just uh, been interested in your story and how uh, they want to know more about your story. Uh, well, I think it's, it's really cool though to know that I uh, made a history, I guess. And it's just like, um, I don't know. Like, I just feel like um, my story can inspire more people, and yet, it, it, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, Jesse. 
So, uh, you know, after you are done playing football, do you want to, you know, go back to China and maybe try to grow the sport there or uh, anything? Uh, well, right now, like, uh, what we really focus on is, uh, you know, prepare for the, this game, you know, Oregon State. We had to beat them and get a, like, nice finish on this season. Anyone else? Stephanie. Hi there. Um, hi, Jackson, calling from China here. Um, you've mentioned earlier on the call that you enjoy certain things about uh, the US, like the food. Um, just wondering, being in the US, what do you miss most about uh, being away from home? And feel free to speak in English or Chinese. Uh, Chinese? <laughs> okay, I'm going to say Chinese then. Thank you. And then Huan, sorry, you mentioned your you you miss your grandma's cooking. Um what's your favorite dish that she makes? Uh <laughs> Great, thank you. Thank you. Michelle. Uh, Jackson, what do you want to do once you're done with college? Um, what, is your, what are you majoring in and what do you hope to do in the future when football's done? Uh, my major is healthy lifestyle coaching. And then like for the future, I'm not like... Uh, I'm not, I didn't really think about it because, you know, I think uh, I have to be prepared for everything that's coming to me right now, you know, and yeah. Anyone else? Yeah, I, I have a question. Uh, so when you scored that touchdown, you it seemed almost like you turned your back and you were backing up. Were you just trying any way to get into that end zone because you knew you might not have another chance? Uh, you know, I, I just want to score. You know, it's one yard line, got to score. <laughs> right. And our my colleague, John Pei here, he did want to ask you a question in Chinese. Okay. Do you have anything to say uh, to the people back in Guangdong uh, where you're from, right? Yeah. So what? All right, Chape. Hey, thanks, Bill. Uh, I just want to uh, say in Chinese that uh, maybe you want to uh, use Chinese to say the the fans in China to to share your feeling about that. Uh, in in Chinese though. In in Chinese, that's right. Uh, Thank you. Can you, can you ask the question again, please? Just share your feeling uh, uh, right now. Your feeling about the the game, the experience to your Chinese fan. 我感觉其实非常的不可思议，嗯，可以在这么高的一个等级的橄榄球赛场上得到达阵。嗯，我觉得非常的开心，非常激动。但是呢，我觉得还有很长的路要走，还有很多努力要做。嗯，这只是一个
Hi, thanks again. Uh, Jackson, uh, I saw on your Instagram page that uh, when you were back in China, it seems like for a break, um, uh, an NFL player, Adrian Peterson, had come to China and you had been able to, uh, to meet him during one of his, 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 uh, his visits there. Um, what did he say to you or what did you say to him? Because this was before you went to ASU. Um, and did that impact you know, your, your, your time playing football at all? Definitely, he's like he, he uh, AP Adrian Peterson is a really nice guy, and then he is really patient. You know, like he listened to me talk. I told him uh, I'm about to walk on to Arizona State, and then he told me, "Man, you know, just keep working hard, man. You gonna get it." <laughs> and yeah, it's, that motivated me a lot. You know, uh, getting a message like that from a great player like him, Andrew. Hey, hey, Jackson. Uh, just wondering if you speak Cantonese as well as, as Mandarin? Uh, just a little bit. Yeah, but oh, I can yeah. understand you, though. Oh, cool, cool. And, uh, you know, you have this very infectious smile. I mean, you're making us all smile here, uh, and you. especially <laughs> after the interview. I'm wondering, is that something you've always had, this can-do, positive, optimistic attitude, or was this something you learned when you uh, came to the States? Thanks. Uh, I mean, I always been like this, you know, I like to be the, the one that bring the positive in the group, you know, it's like, it's fun to be positive too, you know. Uh, anyone else? Seven. Sorry, I keep thinking of questions as well. Um, Jackson, you mentioned the, prop, uh, the pronunciation of your Chinese name. And there seems to be a lot of just chatter about whether it's pronounced he or her. Can you clarify for the record? Do you have a preference on how you'd like it to be pronounced? Uh, I mean, uh, it's he, actually. H-E is actually, uh, in Chinese, it's he. But you know, like, um, I, don't, I don't really like, like, I feel like he, just, I don't know, it's just my name, and but like, when I came here, it's H-E, and then people don't know how to say it, and they start saying, like, he, and I feel like, I mean, that's kind of fun, too. <laughs> and, yeah. Jackson, what, oh, sorry. What is it that you most like about American football, about the game itself? Uh, I think this game is so attractive because, you know, there's a lot of physical contact, and then it's – there's a lot of strategy going too, you know. It's basically like playing chess, like on on the on the field, you know. It's just more than just contact. It's more than just physical. It's more like my, mentally too, you know. It, it's it's good. It's a good game to play. And, and you're probably lifting a lot, right? You spend a lot of time in the weight room at ASU. Uh, you know, I get, I try to catch up with those uh, great players on our team. You know, I have to do more work. <laughs> Uh, Jesse. Hey, Jackson, again. Um, just what was the initial process like when you, you know, asked the coaches at ASU, hey, can I walk on to the team? Like, what was that experience like? And I guess how open were they to having you? Uh, so I just came up to the building and you know, I asked, can I go, can I join the team? And then, you know, they asked me for my highlight tape and I sent it to them. And then the next day they told me, uh, he and uh, Coach Iguano liked my film, like my running style. I was like, oh my God. And then it's like, they told me I'm in. And then just, I'm just really happy to, you know, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's amazing to have this opportunity. Like I'm blessed. Anyone else? Twice. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I'll send this out shortly here once we to transcribe. So, uh, thank you all, and uh, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. 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 Thank